Grambling State Tigers taking on their rival in Southern at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Tigers striking first in this one is Jeremy Hickbottom. Rolling out, he finds a jumping Devontae Davis in the end zone. 13 yards on the scoring strike made it 7 0 G Men. Going into the second quarter, now 7 3. Arcadia grad CJ Russell finding a seam, and then he finds Pater. 27 yards on this twitch touchdown run. It's now 14 3. Grambling Tigers get the ball back on the fumble after, an ensu after the ensuing kick, and they would cash in. Keelan Elder takes it in from a yard out. That made it 21 3, but the Jags weren't going down that easily, scoring 14 unanswered points to end the half. Ladarius Skelton to Hunter Register there. Tigers led 21-17 at the break. Seventh, second half after Southern made it 24-21. Tigers would answer Hickbottom calling his own number from three yards out. That made it 28-24. But moments later, Southern throws a counter punch. Jared Sims off the left side. 36 yards to the house. The extra point was blocked. It's now 30 to 28, and the Tigers had one last chance. But Miguel Mendez's 40-yard field goal attempt was blocked as Southern wins the Bayou Classic 30 to 28. NBC Six's Tim Owens was in New Orleans for this one, and he has more. Tim. Yeah, Jory, so the Tiger football season comes to an end down here in New Orleans. Now, after four games, this team was 0-4. A lot of people had written this football team off, but they were resilient. They fought back. They won six straight games, and they made this game for something. But they came up just a little bit short, and Coach Fobbs, he says sometimes championship football teams they don't get the championship crown. These are hearts of champions. These kids and these uh, assistant coaches that I have, you know, they're champions. And, uh, and sometimes you don't get crowned as a champion, but you do get a chance to reveal it and show it. And I thought that our, our, our staff and our players did a really good job of showing, you know, what they made of, you know. But we got to play better early on in the year, you know, in September. And uh, we got to play better because that's what came back to bite us at the end is, is how we played early in the season. So a tough loss for the Tigers, but a big win for the Jaguars and they are now all set to head up to Alcorn for the SWAC championship game next Saturday. Reporting with the Tigers in New Orleans, I'm Tim Owens.